Hey y'all, Mama Smart here. I am here with yet another packing video for you, but we're actually gonna go somewhere a little bit different this time. This time, we are gonna be going to Great Wolf Lodge in Grapevine, Texas, um, like right outside of Dallas, Texas, uh, for two days over spring break. So we're actually going back up and say, Texas spring break is somewhere in the middle of March. Spring break for my kids' school, is the week after Easter. So I got a little bit of a deal because it was a little bit cheaper because it's not Texas's spring break. So during the week of spring break for Texas, the rates were like a thousand dollars a night. I would never pay that. Like I, I just would not. But the week that we're going, um, I got it for like, I think two something a night. So yeah, we are going to go to Spring, Texas to my in-laws house. Uh, we're going to leave Thursday night, the night before Good Friday, after kids get out of school, after hubby and I get off of work, gonna drive to Texas, Spring, Texas, um, right outside of Houston, stay with my in-laws for a couple of nights, leave the dogs there. And then Easter Sunday, after we you know wake up and see what Easter Bunny brought and egg hunt and all that stuff, hubby and the kids and I are gonna drive up to Grapevine and spend two nights at the Great Wolf Lodge. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. We've done this one before, but the kids were much smaller. It was before we did our first Disney trip. So Weezer was, I think, like 18 months or so, or just shy of 18 months. And Man Cub was two. So it's been a while because now Weezer is four and a half and Man Cub is six years old. So it's a little bit more fun now because they can actually, they're both tall enough now to do all of the slides. And I'll link down below for you the Great Wolf Lodge from Gurney, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. We did that last summer. Man Cub was tall enough to ride most of the slides, but Weezer was just a hair too short. But she's tall enough because it's been almost a year now. So I'm going to show you everything here that I have packed to bring with us for Great Wolf Lodge. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so here is going to be all of like the water park specific stuff. And then I have some other like non-water park stuff. And then, you know, our suitcase full of stuff over there. So I'm going to start with the water park portion. I'm going to be bringing my Vera Bradley beach bag. I love this thing. And I'm not sure if this is even available. I'll link everything I can down in the description box below that's still available for you. But this is everything, you know, that I'm going to be taking. Okay. So first step, I'm going to put the non like bathing suit stuff here in the side pockets here. This is not gonna be something that most people are gonna bring. This is more specific to my kid. So I'm gonna be bringing some ponytails, like soft ponytails for her, so I can put her hair in a braid or a bun or something. And then I'm gonna be bringing several pairs of Putty Buddies. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Uh, my daughter Weezer has tubes in her ears. So we don't want any kind of water getting in there and causing like a staph infection. Hubby has several friends that their little kids have ended up with staph in their ears because their ENT did not tell them to put earplugs or putty buddies in while swimming or bathing. So we don't take any chances in our house. So I've got two pairs of putty buddies and then I've got two empty putty buddy containers from last summer. And I've ordered these from Walmart because the putty buddies can get very expensive. Um, but I'm not going to lie to you. They tend to work the best when it comes to swimming for sure. I use like cheaper Amazon ones for the bath just for washing hair. But when it comes to swimming, I tend to stick to the putty buddies just because they are, are tried and true. But I found these at Walmart and these are actually pretty good too. And they're kid sized. So I brought the extra like putty buddy containers in case. Because sometimes when these get, we tend to reuse the putty buddies like about two or three times before we toss them. But if they get too wet, they tend to not want to like mold and stick anymore. So I brought extras just to be on the safe side because I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then also her ear bandits, um, these go over her head. Let's see this one too. These go over her head and just kind of secure those putty buddies in place to make sure they don't come out while she's like going down a water slide or swimming. And then, and the other, probably put 
in the other side pocket. In the other side pocket here, I will have goggles as well as a foam, like waterproof doodad so I can, you know, take some pictures of them and stuff like that in the water if I need to. And then kind of specific to me, I'm going to put this at the bottom of the bag or like to the side of the bag. I'm bringing our GoPro with the floaty handle as well as a wrist strap in case they make you, cause like it kind of, I've noticed it varies by location and by place and by water park and by employee that's manning the slides. Some of them will make you have it completely attached to you. Like it can't be just like a floating whatever, which this has a wrist strap to it, but so I've got the wrist strap in case we go to get on the slides and I'm like, no, it's gotta be attached. Then I can put that on it. Um, like hubby can just put it in his pocket. So we're bringing GoPro, a couple of extra batteries. I'm not bringing a whole bunch of batteries because I'm only gonna be using this for the water park portion. And then I have an extra SD card that just lives in there in case something goes wrong. So that's gonna go down there. And then all of us have some sort of water shoe Hubby just has regular flip-flops because he'll take these off and not wear them like in the water. The kids and I, I have the kind that you can keep on like while you're sliding and stuff. So man cubs, weezers, mine. And mine is more so because I've had surgery on my foot in between these toes a couple of years ago to remove a pinched nerve. And it still is uncomfortable if I'm walking like on hard floor without any kind of like shoes or socks or anything like that on. So last time we went, I ended up having to like go and put water shoes on because my toes were just absolutely killing me. So that's for me. And then for the kids also, sometimes like the bottom of the pools and stuff, it, it's like sprayed concrete. It's not like vinyl lining. And that can get a little bit rough on soft, delicate little toes, especially since it's just coming up on spring like it hasn't my kids haven't been outside barefoot recently because it's been too cold so i've got all of our shoes and i will say too um this is going to be like the grab and go swim bag to like bring down there if our room is ready and we're able to go like change into it these will be on our feet and that's not going to be like in the bag we bring down with us but this is going to be like the grab and go day one park ready to go bag so all of us will have I'm packing for us. Like I said, we're going to be there for two nights and three days. So I'm packing three swimsuits for all of us. That's probably an overkill. I think two would be fine because we're really only planning on doing the water park like the first night that we're there. And then that whole second day that we're there, I don't really see us doing the water park like the day that we check out. But just in case or like say on the second day, if we want to go back to the room, get checked in, get comfortable and everything like that, and then go back that night. Putting on a wet swimsuit is pretty miserable. I don't know if you've ever done that or if you've ever tried to shimmy a small child into a wet swimsuit. It, it's not a good idea. So go ahead and pack enough if you have it available. Just go ahead and bring it because, you know, less arguing and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I'm also bringing in a trash bag that I'm going to put in this front pocket here for wet swimsuits so that like, you know, we'll hang dry them in the bathroom as much as we can. But they're not going to be completely dry by the time we come home. So put wet swimsuits in there so it doesn't get everything else in our suitcase. Like, disgusting. So day one, swimsuits for myself. I'm going to put these at the very bottom. These are backup shorts in case I get uncomfortable. But for me, I have a very mom-friendly swimsuit. It is a, like, tankini top. And I'll, like I said, I'll link everything I can down below. So tankini top for me. And then these are swim shorts. This is my favorite brand. It's called Hodo Sports. And then Ocean Blues is my top. But it's swim short bottoms. So it's not something that I'm going to feel like I'm hanging out when I'm bending over to like pick my kids up and move them around and stuff. And I just feel like, I don't know, I feel more comfortable in this overall when we're out in public, especially if we're doing high activity things versus like if we're at home in the backyard or at my friend's house, I'm perfectly fine in a bikini. 
Yes, I am chunky. Yes, I wear bikinis. Get over it. But like I said, when we're in public, especially doing like, you know, high, like, high activity water parks and things like that, I feel more comfortable in something that's going to cover everything. So that is my suit. And then this is my cover up. It's actually a Jimmy Buffett like dress. But for me, I think it feels more comfortable as a swimsuit cover up because it's kind of a, I don't know, the material and stuff isn't my favorite for an actual dress. So that's mine. Man Cub has, like I said, three different ones as well. I will probably put him in, probably gonna put him in this one for the first day. Weaver, like I said, she has several too. And I'm probably gonna put her, let's see, do I want her in that one or that one? Huh. These are from Ruffle Butts. I love Ruffle Butts, y'all. Their swimsuits are like the SPF and they hold up really well. So I ordered that when those were on sale. I think I'm gonna put her in this one for the first day. Also, side note, if you notice the colors that I'm putting everyone in, when you are at a water park or the ocean, honestly, like anywhere where there's a lot of people, putting your kid in brightly colored suits is a tip that I wish I would have figured out sooner <laughs> into my motherhood journey. But having like the bright colors to pick your kid out in a crowd is super helpful. Like this shirt here is super bright. So, you know, you're in a sea full of people and everyone, myself included, before I realized this, tends to wear blue or like the lighter color, but having a super loud like neon color, number one, helps you find your kid and a sea of other kids. And number two, if your kid, something happens and your kid ends up at the bottom of the pool, that bright color is a lot more visible to lifeguards and other people than if your kid is wearing like, you know, this color swimsuit. So that's just something to kind of, be mindful of in general and then hubby let's see i'll probably give him this one for his first day suit all right so that suits and then like i said we all have two extra suits that i'm going to put in a packing cube and put in a suitcase but another tip that i have seen and we definitely suffered when we went to Great Wolf Lodge and Gurney this last summer is you tend, especially if you're like staying in the night. So for like myself, I always put a cover up on. But when my kids are leaving the hotel room and going down to the pool, they're just in their little swimsuits. But walking back from the pool to your hotel room in a wet swimsuit is very cold. And you have to return those towels that you get at the Great Wolf Lodge, like water park. So if you're bringing your own towels, it's no problem. But when you're using the towels there, you have to check them back in with your wristband or you get charged for it. So that walk back to your room in a wet swimsuit is super cold and uncomfortable. So I got on clearance from Walmart. I think they were like $10 when I got them online. But getting a bathrobe for your kid and or like any kind of terry cloth, like absorbent swimsuit cover up would work as well. But getting a like absorbent warm bathrobe to put over your kid's wet swimsuit when they're making that trek back to the room will be nice. So she got Frozen, he got Minecraft because those are some of their favorite things. So that is gonna be it for the water park bag. Ugh. Yeah. All right, so that part's done. And then I'm gonna put these extra swimsuits here into a packing. All right, so extra compression packing cube here, and I'm just going to put everyone's extra swimsuits in there. So hubbies. Mine, of course, ours are going to take up the most room because we're a lot larger than our kids. So this is my cover-up. Um, it's a long sleeve. I think it's got pockets in it too, just like cute cover-up. And then... This is my second swimsuit. This is so cute. Another good like mom suit. 
So it's got the like flutter sleeves and it's got the cute little like peekaboo window there and it's a skirt and it has, you know, like the built-in, it's a one piece swimsuit. So it's got the, the built-in bottoms as well, but it's another cute like little mom suit that I feel confident that I'm not going to spill out of with my, while well, I'm tending to my kids. And then this is just a like bikini. I haven't even taken it out of the bag. But for a third swimsuit, just in case. Like I said, I don't even know if we're going to need the third swimsuit. But I would rather be safe than sorry and not have to listen to whining and myself being uncomfortable with putting on wet swimsuits because that's just not fun for anyone. And then losers. Look how cute this is. She hasn't even seen this one yet. How cute. She's super into Barbie recently. And then man cubs, I can't see this. Okay, so pack and cube full of second suits. There, and then this. These are a few things that I picked up for the hotel room. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Molly Stark. I have a, like I said, a four and a half year old girl and a six year old boy. And we travel quite frequently, uh, mostly to Disney World, but we do other things as well. So I'm kind of a pro when it comes to items to keep my kids busy on like the airplane and or in a hotel room or in a location because unoccupied minds and unoccupied hands tend to lead to chaos, <laughs> especially with my daughter. So. These are a few little hotel items I picked up. And like I said, this resort has a ton to offer. Like it's got Magic Quest, it's got the water park, it's got an arcade, it's got, you know, rock wall climbing, I think, maybe um, like a rope course and stuff. So it's got things to do. But there's times when mama <laughs> and dada want to have some downtime in the room because we are exhausted. Because, you know, we're not only watching our kids do these things, but we're kind of manning them and on at all times, especially in a water park. So these are, everyone's familiar with the magnet tiles. These are kind of like a mini version of it. And it comes, you know, self-contained in a little box, but they're smaller sized. So it doesn't make quite as big of a mess and it's still really good for the hotel room. So I picked up these for a like non-messy hotel activity. And then this, I discovered I used the princess version with my daughter in Disney World the last trip I took her on. And let me tell y'all, it was my saving grace because we ended up there during a hurricane and there was a very rainy day where we had some downtime in the room. And this occupied her for like an hour, which is unheard of with her. She has an attention, <laughs> she has the attention span of a gnat. So I got a, what is this one? World of Animals. So it's got like dinosaurs and squirrels and birds and bears and all kinds of stuff. But what you do is it comes with these little sticker pads and you peel the sticker with the sticky off and then you put the foil on it and, you know, smush it down. And then when you peel the foil up, it sticks to the sticker part. And then you have these like fun, shiny foil stickers. So it's relatively mess free. Like I will say the foil papers, cause it comes with a lot of them can tend to kind of get scattered everywhere. But for the most part, yeah, it comes with like a whole bunch of packets. Like there's a, a ton of foil in here, but and apparently these come with googly eyes too. But yeah, so it doesn't make that big of a mess. And it's something, I mean, it's just like stickers and papers and stuff. You can pick that up relatively easy, so. That was my saving grace on a Disney trip recently with my daughter. So I'm bringing this. It is one that my son will not object to. And my daughter is happy with any kind of arts and crafts. And then I'm also bringing float necklaces. Party sections of, um, of Walmart for like a dollar something or you can get them at Dollar Tree as well. So necklaces. These are some light up bracelets. You can see that. Um, purple and green. These came in a giant box. And like I said, I'll link everything I can down below. Um, because I frequent 
frequent Disney roll often. These items here are just ones that I have on hand. I have like a Disney toy like travel, one of those cheap little fabric drawer things in my daughter's closet that I keep all of those items in. So I just keep like glow sticks and you know, little airframe toys and stuff like that at the ready in there. So I just pulled this out of there. But these are, I'm not gonna pull the pin yet, but it's like fiber optic little like light up glow wand things. So nightly at the Great Wolf Lodge, they have what they call like a dance party or something. And another popular thing people say to bring, which I personally am not just because I don't want to take up the room in my suitcase, is bubble wands. So you can buy them there. That's like, I'm assuming wolf themed or Great Wolf Lodge themed. That's going to run you between like 20 and 30. I have several bubble wands already in the closet from Disney World. Um, so I thought about bringing those. But the amount of room it's going to take up in my suitcase isn't worth it to me because I just, I don't want to. And so I'm also packing a lot of this stuff here is stuff that I have to bring to my in-laws as well because we're going to be there for four nights. So I've got a lot of stuff I'm already packing and I just, I don't want to take up the space with a bubble wand. But um, I'll link some cheap ones here down below too from Amazon. I think Walmart and Target carries them too, like the cheap little versions of just like bubble wands. So they have the little like dance parties. And I think the kids just, you know, they dance and have their little glow sticks and their, their bubble wands and, and whatever. So I brought these so my kids don't feel left out. And so I don't have to buy anything there because I'm not paying a premium for dollar toys. So those items are going to be coming with us too. And then I'll show you. Oh, that was loud. Get this off the way. I'll show you everything that I have in the like suitcase, suitcase too. So I also have, if you can see it in the corner of that green bag, that is all of our clothing that we're gonna need for my in-laws house. So it's gonna be Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. And then when we go back to their house after Great Wolf, Tuesday night, that's all of the clothing items in there. This suitcase has all of our clothes for Great Wolf, as well as all of our like, things that we need, not only for Great, Great Wolf, but for my in-laws house, like our toiletries, nightlight, uh, sound machines, things like that. So in here, this is the big packing cube. I have all of hubbies in my clothing. Again, our clothes take up more room than theirs because we're bigger people, but I have hubbies in my clothes as well as all of our pajamas in here. Um, so kids pajamas and hubbies in my pajamas. I packed an extra outfit for everyone. So I have three outfits for myself, three outfits for my husband, as well as in here, only one pair of pajamas. And here I have the kids clothes. So this is gonna be three outfits for my son, three outfits for my daughter. This is underwear, socks, um, clothing, all in here. So I have it just kind of like layered. So they each have like socks, underwear, and clothes. I'm not going to take it out and show you everything that I'm bringing because it's not like themed, but I will say I am bringing comfortable clothes for all of us. Like I don't have any kind of jeans or dress up clothes or anything like that because we're not planning on, like if we do leave the lodge to go find food, it's not going to be somewhere fancy. Like we're going to go to like maybe Rainforest Cafe or a pizza joint or something. So I have just comfy, like kind of what they wear all the time. Like this is a Sonic the Hedgehog dress for my daughter. I think I have a, another like little butterfly dress. And then I also have some athletic pants and a short sleeve t-shirt for her, for her. For my son, it's the same thing, just athletic clothes. So he has a long sleeve like athletic shirt and some mesh shorts, t-shirt and mesh shorts for the other two outfits. So this is their clothing. And then these are those second seats for all of us and the compression bag. So I'm gonna put that bottom. And this is a medium size, I think it's called like a travel light suitcase or something. Um, it's one of those like, it's a hard sided and it's a four spinner, but it's ultra, it's ultra light. So the suitcase itself is lighter, which is good when you're flying. I'm trying to stick to a weight limit, especially if you fly spirit like I do and you only get 40 pounds. <laughs> 
but yeah, so their clothes, my clothes, my hubby's clothes, swimsuits, and I'm gonna put foil fun. Let's stick the magnet tiles in here. Magnet tiles, glow sticks. Make sure I didn't turn on. Did it? I don't think so. Uh oh. I think I got her one that doesn't work anymore. Okay, I gotta go get her another one of these. I'll do that later. His still works though, right? Yes. Okay. Glad I checked that. She would have been distraught. Um, the little wand doodads. And then their necklaces. if I can perform a miracle and get this zipped up. Okay, so <laughs> by the grace of all things, I got that zipped up. So this side that I just zipped, I am only opening when we get a great wolf, but the rest of this, um, I also have in here, I am bringing and I bring with me anytime I stay at a hotel. Most hotels have that same horrible Cuisinart like coffee pod coffee makers and Great Wolf is no different. Um, Mama needs a strong cup of coffee in the morning. Like that's one thing I don't mess with. <laughs> and those Cuisinart pods, no matter how much water you put in them or how little water, it comes out so weak, it looks like tea. So I have started traveling with these bad boys. Um, Copper Cow Pour Over, it comes as little sets on Amazon. So instead of brewing like a coffee pod, I just brew a cup of plain hot water and then use that to do the pour over on another cup. And it comes with the little latte creamer packets. You can get just the coffee, but I like the little latte packets because it, like I said, it makes a strong cup. And Mama needs her coffee in the morning, so I've got enough for hubby and I for two mornings. Also, the price that I paid for an entire set of the latte packs is the same as it's going to cost for like two cups of coffee if you go to the Dunkin's or Starbucks or whatever coffee place they have at this particular Great Wolf. Number one, the lines are super long in the morning, and I'm not standing in that. And number two, uh, they don't make my favorite coffee. <laughs> I am a CC's community coffee girly, so I'd rather bring my own. This is tastier than Starbucks, in my opinion. So, second half of this suitcase is going to be all of our, like, stuff that we need for in-law's house and Great Wolf. So I'm just going to kind of briefly go through the standard items that I always pack with me. Okay, excuse me, got the hiccups. So starting off, I have down here, that is my toiletry set. It's got like toothpaste, face wash, face lotion, um, you know, all of that important stuff that you need. Anytime you go shampoo, conditioner, um, I've got my kids swim shampoo and conditioner in here um, from Fairy Tales. My kid... <laughs> Man Cub, his hair has turned brown, but both of my kids were blonde and Weezer is still blonde. And if you have a blonde headed child and they're in heavy chlorine, their hair will turn green. So I always make sure I have slim shampoo with me because it takes that chlorine buildup out and it keeps her hair from being green, which would be probably pretty funny, but uh, she would be very upset about it. I've got flushable lights here for, you know, issues because both of my kids are on Miralax every day. And it can be a little bit, you know, sometimes we need a little bit of extra help cleaning up. Toothpaste, more Putty Buddies for the bathtub. I have my bar of soap, which I can use on the kids. It's just a Dove body bar. Um, they are eczema prone. I have very sensitive skin, so I tend to pack with my own bar of soap. And then, I'll see, deodorant for hubby and myself. 
as well as his Breathe Right strips because the man snores like a chainsaw. Hubby, my toothbrush is in there. Hubby has his little toothbrush set here. The kids have their toothbrushes that would travel with there. This is my little makeup cosmetic case, makeup brushes, hubby socks that he just bought because he couldn't find any socks. <laughs> so I've got a whole pack of new socks for him for this trip. These are our cords. So I have these charge my kids' tablets. I have ones that charge my phone and my camera, as well as my, somewhere in there, here it is, my smartwatch charger. Um, I have... These are Abino face wipe, face and hand wipes. This is what I use. This will be for my in-laws specifically because they'll have a bath every night at Great Wolf. But between bath nights, um, my pediatrician has said don't bathe my kids every night because their skin isn't sensitive. So we do baths every other night. So on non-bath nights, we use these to wipe hands, faces, feet before we go to bed. Um, so I brought that. I have baby washcloths. And this is, it's like those little muslin ones. And these are, I mean, it's a pretty cheap pack. So I'll just toss these when we leave or leave them. I've got enough for my in-laws house as well as Great Wolf. Regular washcloths are very rough, especially hotel washcloths. And I've learned this from traveling to Disney. I now always pack these for my kids. But the washcloths can be very rough on sensitive skin. And just to, you know, make them more comfortable and to not have like rashes and eczema flare-ups, I've just started packing with my own washcloth. So if you have sensitive skin little kids, that's a, that's a huge, I, I need to bring that. This is a Ziploc bag full of laundry detergent sheets. I don't know if you can see the separate sheets in there, but this is what I've started traveling with. Um, like when we go to my in-laws house, I'll most likely do one or two loads of laundry before we come home. That way I'm not coming home to a all of this <laughs> dirty laundry because I'm going to be working a ton. This is my busy season at work. So I'm going to be working a ton when we come home and I'm not going to have time to keep up with the laundry. So these are the like, you know, laundry sheets. You just toss one or two of these a load depending on how big the load is. Instead of bringing your own like big thing of detergent or pods that may pop. Again, kids and I have very sensitive skin. My in-laws tend to use Tide and that breaks me out into hives. And it, it has caused contact dermatitis on my children from my husband using it on his clothes. So I bring my own laundry sheets just so it's something that I know that is not going to break us out and we're not sensitive to. Um, as far as I know, the Great Wolf Lodge after COVID no longer has laundry facilities, which is a bummer. Um, all Disney hotels do. So I've done a little laundry at Disney before just to not come in with a bunch, but yeah, that's for my in-laws house. Uh, these are little like spouts that you can pop into a water bottle. I'm probably not gonna bring their water cups with us. I'll leave those at my in-laws house. And we're gonna stop at uh, HEB on our way to the Great Wolf and pick up a few like easy, quick lunches and dinner items and bottled water and stuff like that so that we are not spending a fortune at the lodge because the prices are insane. And honestly, <laughs> from our experience of going to Grapevine a couple of years ago in Gurney last year, like the food's just really not good. So these are just to convert like a water bottle into a, a sippy spout so that my kids are not making a mess all over the hotel room. Um, <clears throat> medicine, like I said, my kids have to get this every morning. And then this is a travel pill pouch that has all of our medication in it for the week. So I've got like their vitamins, their allergy medicine, my allergy medicine, some ibuprofen PM, because hubby and I are probably going to need that at Great Wolf. Those water slides can be rough on old bones. Uh, my allergy medicine, birth control, things like that. So that's all in one spot and I actually have more of their chewable allergy medicine on the way because I didn't have enough so I've got like two more doses I've got to put in that. This is my travel fuel pack. I'm bringing with me a kids mucinex. We're going to Texas. The allergies are different there than they are in Louisiana and you just can never be too safe. So I'm bringing that just in case you know they get snibbles. Comb with some Y'all, these are the best scrunchies known to man. 
the Invisibubble. Make sure it's focus. There we go. Invisibubble. I'll link them down below, but if you have fine, thin hair like I do, it has those like spiral ponytails inside of it. So it actually holds my hair without slipping out and I don't have to make the ponytail like super tight. And then travel sound machines. I don't know if this one's still available. So I'll link one of my other favorites, but one of the nights that we're staying there, we're going to stay in the kid's cabin room or the wolf den or whatever it is. So the kids will be in their own sleeping area and hubby and I will have our own sleeping area. So I'm bringing two sound machines. Also at his parents' house, we tend kids go in one room and we go in the other. And then for the kids, I bring their turtle one. So it is a nightlight that projects stars on the ceiling as well as being a sound machine. So this is kind of like an all-in-one and they use this at the room they sleep in at La La and Toot Toots as well as for that little like wolfed in cabin thing that they're gonna sleep in. And then I have, this is specific to my kid, but I'm bringing his pediatric shakes. Uh, Man Cub has trouble keeping weight on so he has to have one of these a day. So I'm bringing his shakes. I'll probably just keep those there actually. And then shoes. We're all going to be wearing our tennis shoes on the way there. Um, hubby will wear his Allbirds. I'm probably going to wear like Hey Dudes or maybe some tennis shoes. I'm not sure. And the kids will wear whatever tennis shoes they had on for school that day. And then um, in addition to their water shoes that I have packed in the swim bag, we will all be wearing a pair of or have a pair of sandals. Just because it's easy on and off, um, it's going to be in the 80s when we're in Texas. So, you know, this is easier than tracking them down and putting shoes and socks on them. <laughs> so they're Keens. Y'all, I can, like, I have sworn by these shoes for years. But since my kids basically started walking and wearing shoes, I discovered these. They have traction on them. They are closed-toed with the bumper. They Velcro slip on and off. They have, like... The grippies at the bottom like i said traction on the end they get wet and dry super quickly so these have been my go-to disney shoes for the summer as well because they dry super quickly and then i have yes. mine i'll put in here i'll insert a picture here but mine come in i think today or tomorrow so i'll put my new sandals in there too and then hubby just has a pair of flip-flops too yeah and then oh the last couple items so this is something that just kind of lives in my daughter's closet that I toss in when we travel. It has a little mini wet brush in there to brush her hair with and then a bunch of those like little soft ponytails. If I do like a big ponytail or a bun or something and then I also keep a ziplock of those little elastics. So if I decide to do like bubble braids or you know something like that. And then I also have some ponytails for me in there, those uh, spiral elastics. And I think there's also in there, you can't see it, but there is a ponytail cutter. So these little elastics, if I do bubble braids or something, they will rip your child's hair out when you try to take them out. So I have just a little like, um, I'll insert a picture here. It's like a little elastic, like cutter pick thing. So you can just cut through the elastic and get it off without completely ripping your child's hair out. So the, and then I also have some bobby pins, blonde ones and black ones because she is blonde and my hair is dark brown. So I said, this just lives in her closet as like a travel. I grab it out of her closet and toss it into a suitcase. So that one's hers. And then this little pouch, um, I'll link this pouch set I have in that bag, my feminine products. This one has her bows and then this one has boo-boo stuff. But I use these to organize my like day packs and park bags all the time. So this one is just full of all of her different bows, um, little bows, big bows for all of her outfits that we have. So bows, and then this one is a first aid. And I have band-aids because my kids, <laughs> I have some wipes in there. I have some spray band-aid like Neosporin basically. Some travel band-aids as well as some blister packs in case they get like a rubbed heel or something. And some antiseptic wipes as well. So if they fall, scrape their knee on something, which they are bound to do because they have no coordination. I've got that. And then this is another one of those travel cases. And then this one is full of kids chewable Pepto, kids chewable ibuprofen, 
let's see, Tylenol and ibuprofen for mom and dada. And I think there's some ibuprofen PM in there too. Probably need to toss some Tums in there for hubby, honestly. Might go grab that. All right, so that is it. I just have to toss in my sandals when they come in the mail. And then I need to go get her another glow bracelet. And then I'll probably toss in some either Pepto or Tums in here too. But yeah, so that is it for Great Wolf, our swim bag, everything else bag. Like I said, this is a medium sized spinner. It's not like the carry on size and it's not the big, big check size. So it's the medium check size. And then that bag is irrelevant for this video, really, if you're just going to Great Wolf, but that's our other clothes for our other stop along the way. So yeah, this is everything that we will be bringing with us. Um, like I said, I do this a lot. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I am type A, extreme organizer and planner. So yeah, I do packing a lot. I've gotten pretty good at it. I know what works and what doesn't and what's needed and what's not. So hopefully this was helpful if you are planning a trip to the Great Wolf Lodge or Kalahari or any kind of like water park or something like that. So hopefully this video is helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and a like. Subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell, and follow along for more content if you have little ones and like to travel like we do. Bye guys!